Drifting looks chaotic, but it's actually a highly technical skill that relies on precise control of friction, torque, and momentum. Here is how it works. According to Newton's first law of inertia, when an object is moving, it wants to keep moving in the same direction. When the car turns, there is an external force caused by the friction between the wheels and the ground, known as traction. The driver intentionally makes the rear wheels exceed friction limit, and the car starts to slide. This happens when the curve is taken too sharp or too fast. The drifter regains control of the car by counter-steering and adjusting the throttle. Here's where aerodynamics come into play. The car's shape and the way it interacts with the air create pressure changes that influence its movement. Mastering weight transfer is key. By shifting the car's weight forward, backward, or sideways, the driver can adjust traction and balance. This allows for precise control during a drift. There is a whole science behind